timeout on the clipping penalty? Um, did you get a, a valid explanation, or I'm guessing not? Yeah, I got valid. I mean, it's, you know, I think you always get a valid explanation. Of them. But, um, you know, I, I really yeah, I flashback to a 1994 four or five. I can't remember. We were playing at Kansas City, and it got distracting. And uh, it didn't help our cause at all. So I try not to get distracted by things. But today, to say it didn't impact the game a little bit, um, you know, the way things went, I think I'd probably be naive. And, you know, the one, one thing, two things we've been pretty good at, even if we don't have a real good team, we're usually pretty good at ball security and takeaway margin. Uh, typically, we do a good job, 09 being an exception there. And then, you know, typically we're, we're in the upper third penalty wise. And I think we're somewhere in that neighborhood right now. So, to have six major penalties, that's kind of uncharacteristic. Maybe we're just overwhelmed talent-wise, or maybe our guys are that sloppy. I, I, it just didn't feel that way from the sideline. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, but it impacted the game, and we weren't good enough to overcome that. But that, that call, I mean, I, you know, I've had a problem with our, our being college football's interpretation of cut blocking uh, for you know, probably a decade now, and I don't see that getting any better. The good news is they'll probably eliminate it from football next year, so won't have to worry about it. If an, if an offensive lineman has his helmet across the far side knee, it's a legal uh, block. which is which yeah. is what happened, it is a legal block? Okay. That's what you saw? That's what I saw. Okay. I'm co-signing, I'm not saying it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then as far, that, that as, far as um, Logan Jones is um, blocking too long, too hard during the play, I mean, how did that? Yeah, you can't be, you can't be too aggressive. Can't do that. With a play that's still going on, you guys have seen Linderbaum do that a lot on the other side of the line of scrimmage. This just happened to be where the defender was, and he's finishing the play, and that's something we really emphasize in Peach. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little perplexed by that one, and uh, I don't know when you're supposed to know when to stop if your opponent's still going. So, you know, it's a little confusing. When you look at the offense, uh, the passing game, especially third quarter into the fourth quarter, seemed to get some rhythm. Uh, and some movement. Uh, maybe for the first time this year, it looked like it was really in concert um, for multiple possessions. Um, are you encouraged by that, or do you feel like that's that's something you guys can build on? I am. I, you know, for a couple of things, uh, reasons. You know, talked about Sam um, and and Luke. You know, I think we have a chance now to have a pretty good tight end combination. Uh, looks like Nico's back pretty close to full speed, which is help helpful to have a veteran player out there. Uh, Aaron is doing some good things and we'll keep moving him along and hopefully Brody's benefiting from every rep he gets. So I am. And then the other component, I thought up until that, I guess it was last possession, next to last possession, we passed block better today against a group that's pretty good. You know, those guys got some guys. So uh, to me, that's encouraging. You know, we had a meltdown on that last, you know, I think we're two scores down. And I've, I've been there before as a line coach. It's not much fun. Uh, so it's not like it's the first time I've seen that, and we'll, we'll grow through that and work through that. But you know, I saw a lot of things I thought that were better, and yeah, you know, but that's that's not going to get it done for us unless we really, you know, we got we got to keep pull, pushing this thing forward and squeezing some things down. Coach Steve, mm -hmm. you guys talked about they see the improvement; it's just not coming quickly enough. Yeah. Would you agree with that? And, and I guess how yeah, do I you mean, speed that up? If yeah, you when you when you come up short. Uh, but again, we we know what we're up against today and what 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 we had to do and. Really, we couldn't force uh, only one bad play, I think, on their part, the quarterback's part. You know, they had that one down to the right of our bench, which you know, uh, we're hoping maybe we could maybe get a little bit more going there. But um, you know, to his credit, he played a really good game. Uh, so yeah, but I, I think you know, I think we're growing. I, I did think that. Uh, you know, Campbell's been playing at a pretty good level. Uh, he, by the way, got tackled. It looked like to me. You guys probably saw that one, right? Looked like he's on a hole and some outside hands snatched him down. Uh, but he played through that, and yeah, I think you know we're, we're not. I'm not disappointed. I'm not discouraged, but I am disappointed. That Campbell play. Why do you think that was a flag? Why wasn't it? Yeah, they didn't call it. It's easy, <laughs> really easy. It was only at the point of attack. the first. Yeah, yeah. Know, and pretty obvious. I mean, it looked pretty flagrant, but you know they must obviously didn't see it. And I'm not questioning anybody's integrity. There, I'm not going down there. The guys are working hard, and they're it's hard. They got a really hard job, a really hard job. It feel like you guys defensively across the line couldn't get any traction early in the game. They went like 11 plays, 13 plays, 13 plays. You couldn't yeah. get off the field. We couldn't get off the field. If you can't stop the run, it's tough. You know, it's easy to call plays when you can run the ball and uh, you know, not minimizing what they were doing. But again, the, the, the pressure they put on you from my vantage point, um, you, know, you see both those receivers last last week running by DBs. You know, and, 
So if you match up on them one on one, you're living dangerously there with a the guy who can throw it. So you know, there's just it's a lot of cat and mouse and it's tough. But they, they did a really good job and it looked like they were executing very well too. How have you been seeing Deontay and Keegan progress in terms of injury recoveries? Not fast enough, obviously, but you know, I mean Deontay's got a broken bone, so that's what we're dealing with. Uh, I think there's a realistic chance he'll be back after the bye week. Well, the good news for him is he can run. He's, he's been, you know, he'll be in great shape because that's all he can do is run. He can't catch. Uh, but hopefully we'll get him back, and he was doing really well prior to his injury. So if we can get him back. Now you're talking about a guy that's been around here for a while, not just a, a first-year guy. And um, that, that would help. But, you know, we still don't know what it's going to look like once he gets, gets cleared. We're Wait. still talking about seven points and 220 yards until the final possession. Where do you have? What can you do to get from that to, you know, a level that can give you a better chance to win? I mean, it's kind of what I just described. It's a, it's everything kind of coming together. I think we're getting better up front. At least that's my assessment after today. I haven't seen the film. Uh, I think we got backs that are doing a pretty good job. I think we have two tight ends doing a pretty good job, and you know, getting Nico back. Uh, you know, all that stuff goes together. Just kind of like I'm describing Michigan. You know, part of the secret to the run game is that they got got guys outside that you. You really have to respect, uh, or, or it's like you know, uh, you know, electrocution. I mean, it happens fast. Uh, those kinds of things. So, um, you know, we're, we're a work in progress. I'm, I'm not discouraged by our guys. In fact, I'm encouraged by some of the things I'm seeing. But you know, we're, we're going to have to keep moving, and obviously, have to get back. We're not going to, you know, win a game scoring seven points. How do you see the dynamics change when you have a second tight end like Cliche really emerge as a capable person that defenses have to keep an eye out? You know, every, every year it's just it's what you have and try to you know play towards those strengths. And you know, we're talking about Michigan; they've got a couple of really good tight ends. Uh, you know, one one here I don't think, but the, you know they've got a couple three that are really good, uh, good receivers and good backs. So I mean they they've got you know pretty veteran group there, at least a really capable group. So uh, you know we're going to try to play to our strengths. And again, I think Luke's coming on, so that's good. Was there any discussion? I think it was in this drive down to the five where it ended. Um, on the Sam Laporta catch, it, was, it went for no gain, but it kind of appeared he caught it at six, and then they marked it at eight. Was there any discussion in your headset with maybe uh, your guys about looking at that play or asking to have them look at it? Uh, you know, I, I work under the assumption they're look, reviewing everything. Okay. That is one difference between our conference and the conference that officiated earlier in the season. Like, they didn't review. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it was a good play or not play, but they, they didn't stop. Or the Big Ten. You can count on that. And even their touchdown down to our left mm -hmm. uh, looked like a bang bang play and tempted to throw in there. But I know I know it's it's getting reviewed, so at least you know that. What was the offensive game plan today? I mean, you look up in the fourth, third quarter, it's zero points, ninety eight yards, and it's almost fourth quarter. I mean, it was. Yeah, I, I guess I look at it differently. Um, like I'm thinking about a run that we hit off left tackle. Mm -hmm. and was that the first holding penalty? Um, where it looked like a pretty clean play, and you know we gained whatever 20, 25 yards. So you go from you know moving the ball down the field 20 yards, let's say it was 20, and now you're back. You know, I think you know you guys are in the game. It changes the complexion of everything you do. We don't have a lot of good calls for third and 20s. It's just really tough you know, to come up with something that's going to be good. And um, so yeah, those little negative yardage plays impact whether it's you know lost yardage plays, sacks, or certainly um, not only penalties but. 10 yards or 15 yard penalties. That's it's hard to overcome that offensively. So, yeah, you know, I'm just telling you what I saw. I thought I thought we grew. I thought we did some things better today. Tom will tell. I may be totally crazy. Because of the